gear because the liquor's so good, especially when it's not mine. Schubert Sun finished. You watch me finish that on. <laughs> it's about time for my med morning medicinal tiddly. <laughs> come on, baby, come to Papa. <laughs> oh, you know, that makes a new man of me. Why shouldn't he have one, too? Bert, my friend, would you care to join me in a little snort? I thought you would, <laughs> knowing your bad habits as well as I do. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Broach, very kind of you. And I don't mind doing the same for you, friend, any time you like. <gasps> Just like a mother's kiss first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Damn bottles full of air. And one of my brains get down to my feet, that's why I'm so heavy footed, I think, at times. Little bubbles get gone and my heart and rapture. That's the prisoner in number 12. He's always singing about his little pigeon what flew away. If he'd had any damn sense, he'd have kept the trap shut. <laughs> little love, I often quiet, quiet. Music, singing and dancing are strictly forbidden. By rules of the war. What? War. <laughs> Which reminds me, he's very late this morning. I wonder where he's hiding himself. Quiet, quiet. Quiet, I say. I don't know which is worse. He's singing all the damn beetles down there. <laughs> I'll guarantee you another swallow of liquor for myself that by the time I count to three, he'll have started all over again. One. Two. Two and a half. Five to three. You're not going to leave me high and dry up here, are you, matey? Three. I want to hold your on its way down. <laughs> no, no, no. He sings every coloratura aria from the repertoire in one single breath. Why don't you keep quiet down there? If otherwise, I'll send you home. That always keeps them quiet. They're afraid we'll throw them out. <laughs> Blimey, he put this to strength. Beethoven's fifth. Can't stand the stuff. <laughs> Nothing like Mendelssohn's scotch as far as I <laughs> I wonder why he's so quiet down there. Oh, maybe he's got in my private liquor supply. Are you down there? You'd better get out of my liquor supply or heaven knows what's going to happen to you. I'll keep you in jail for another ten years. <laughs>